How's it going right here from Manta Team Productions? And in this video, I want to ask a question that's pretty important when it comes to owning a business. And that is, why do you do what you do? So you could sell something for X amount of dollars. You could sell a lot of it. You could be really good at selling something for X amount of dollars. But why is it that you do what you do? If the reason you sell it is because you want to make money or you just don't know why you sell what you do, then what kind of what kind of message is that sending to your your clientele, your your customer base? If that's your answer, then the weight of everything that you do is in the transaction instead of what value you're giving to the customer or what they're buying into. If you don't know why as a business owner you're doing what you're doing, then you're not selling a vision to the customer as to what you're trying to do in this world through your business. Whatever it is that you're selling, think about how much more fulfillment you would have if the reason you do what you do is say you want to build a more eco-friendly world and then somebody buys something. Think about that mind shift. You go, oh yes, somebody bought into uh, this vision that I'm trying to cast or they're supporting me as I'm building this this brand that's building a more eco-friendly world. Think about that versus, oh, well, I sold something for $5, $10, $20. I could probably make more money. Like, think about that, think about that mind shift. Again, I mentioned in another video that it takes you out of the, the scarcity mindset and it goes, it takes you out of that and it puts you into building kind of a village of people. It's much easier to visualize building a group of people than it is building a mound of money. Who do you think has that mound of money? It's it's the group of people and people want to relate to something. They want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. It all comes back to asking yourself, why do you do what you do? You could sell mops and sponges for X amount of dollars. If you truly feel that you want to make the world a cleaner place by selling moths and sponges to people in their own homes to start. Think about how much more noble that sounds then. Uh, well, moths and sponges are pretty cheap wholesale and they're pretty easy to sell on top of that. Everybody needs moths and sponges. That doesn't sound enticing at all, nor will you have that spark to keep selling if, if business is low or you just don't feel like selling one day. So it's time to figure out the why. If you don't have one, it's time to make one. If you like it, but you don't like the what, then you can always just change the what if that keeps up with the vision of why you're doing what you're doing. It's so easy to, to fall into the shadows when it comes to this e-commerce world where everybody is selling everything from every corner of the internet these days. If you have your why, it makes business more enjoyable, honestly, because then you could you have a point that you're standing from, you have a point that you're starting from, and you're selling from that vision that you're trying to cast out into the world. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Keep on creating.